Well, stocks edging higher as traders count down to the next inflation report. But with earnings season just around the corner, we're taking a look at some stocks to consider buying and some to avoid. Here to discuss, we want to bring in New Constructs CEO, David Trainer. David, it's great to see you again. I want to start with one of your sell picks, and that's Kava. And just a couple of weeks ago, or several weeks ago, I should say, we got your thoughts on the company before it went public. I want to play real quick what you had to say then about Kava. We think Kava is the next WeWork. Uh, we don't think this IPO should actually ever happen. This is a ruse to trick unsuspecting retail investors into buying what is a terrible business. It's burning cash flow. It's cash flow is only going to get worse. And we think the only reason this company is deciding to IPO in this environment, because if they can't get an IPO done now, they never will, because the cash flow burn is going to get even worse. David, investors, though, have been interested in the name. The stock is still at just around double its IPO price. I'm guessing you haven't changed your stance. Why? No, I mean, this is just sort of almost a replay of the IPOs from 2021 that came out and doubled and then soon, you know, soon thereafter fell 90 plus percent. Uh, look, the, the, the valuation implies that the company's margins will go from very negative today to where Chipotle's margins are and grow at the same time, grow at 25% compounded annually for the next 10 years. That's that's about what, ha what the company has to do to justify 45 bucks a share. And by the way, Chipotle didn't even grow at 25% compounded annually for its first 10 years. It only did around 20, 22%. So uh, this is priced to be bigger and better uh, and more profitable than Chipotle. Uh, and so, I mean, what can I say? All the good news is priced in and, and in the backdrop of the fact that it's burning a lot of cash. They needed this IPO to keep from going bankrupt. Uh, you know, I, I guess I'll stop there. Well, well, David, I mean, what does that tell you, though, about where this current market is? If we're seeing investors chasing a stock that, that you say is basically bleeding money, not on the track to profitability, what does that tell you about where the mindset is? Oh, I mean, I think it's pretty clear we're in a, in a risk off kind of mindset. I mean, we're chasing NVIDIA up, you know, huge amounts and a lot of junk stocks, uh, meme stocks have been flying, Rivian's flying. Uh, you know, look, there's a lot of liquidity. There's a lot of federal stimulus, uh, trillions of dollars of federal stimulus that have been poured into this economy since COVID. And a lot of that's just flowed straight into speculative trading. And that spells bad news for investors who, you know, don't really know how to time it. Uh, and look, I don't I don't like to pretend that timing is a good strategy at all. I just here to, to be, you know, to recognize that obviously the stock's gone up a lot, you know, and if you were in it early, you've done well. The question is, when will it come back to earth? And um, I don't want to be around when it does. Well, David, another name that investors have been chasing since the start of this year is Uber. We've seen the stock rise just about 80%. Since the start of January, you're still not sold on this name. You're actually naming it as one of your zombie stock picks. Why don't you see it maybe a more optimistic outlook here, given some of the improvement that Uber has seen over the last several months? Yeah, no, look, I mean, I'm not going to say that the business isn't getting better, but you have to reconcile that with what the valuation says about the what the business will do, right? So our approach is to, do, to use a reverse discounted cash flow model that quantifies the future performance needed to justify the stock price. So we can say, okay, well, if 45 bucks for Uber means that the company's got to go from a, a negative 5% margin to positive 5% while, while simultaneously growing revenues at 35% compounded annually for a decade, that's probably, probably fully, you know, pretty expensive, right? Uh, you know, and, and that would imply um, that it's ride share, it's share, Uber's share of the ride share market would be something like over a hundred percent at that kind of revenue growth rate. So, you know, the, the, the valuation just doesn't make sense. This is not to say that Uber is a bad business. It's not a great business. It's cash flow burning has been for a long time, which is why it's a zombie stock. But even if something is a good business, that doesn't mean it's a good stock. Let's talk about stocks that you do like arguably less sexy names, right? We're not talking about Kava and Uber, but Discover Financial Services. What do you like there? Great underwriting, uh, very cheap valuation. When we, when we first named that to our, our long 
idealist. Uh, I think the stock price implied the profits were going to were going to uh, decline by 50 percent. Notice the big, the nice juxtaposition, right? Profits for Kava and Uber expected to climb astronomically. Discover's price of price today still as if profits will decline by 40 percent permanently. So, you know, really nice cheap valuation with very strong cash flow. Again, different from Uber and Kava. Discover is actually generating real cash flow and they've got great underwriting. So their loan losses and delinquencies are looking better than peers. So we think that the cash flow is going to continue. And if the stock price recognizes that, there's a lot of upside. Another name that you do see upside with is HCA Healthcare. Lay out the bull case there. Look, it's a very defensive industry. Uh, and 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 health and HCA is one of the the most profitable and successful hospital chains in America. Uh, demand for services are still growing. Uh, it's been able to adapt and maintain a higher return on invested capital than its peers. And we still like the valuation. It's gotten a little rich on us here, uh, and uh, but it has been a great performer uh, since it's been on our long idea list. And so. Uh, it's one of the just better stocks out there. Again, generating huge amount of cash flow, reasonable valuation, strong long-term demand and tailwinds. We think it's a much better stock to be in, of course, than Uber and Kava. New Construct CEO, David Trainer. it's always good to get your perspective here. Appreciate your time today. Thank you.